Well, it's been a pretty active August around here. You know that. Uh, over the last two days, Sunday into Monday, the National Weather Service in Birmingham and Huntsville combined for about 170 reports of wind damage. So it's good that things are quiet tonight because it's going to get active again on Wednesday and Thursday. Tuesday night's forecast, a little foggy, a little damp, not as sticky outside as it has been lately. Some will be in the upper 60s, some in the lower 70s to start out tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, it is yet another impact day. Those of us not getting storms just get blazing hot with a high temperature in the lower 90s. So let's talk specifically about what happens going into the day on Wednesday. Now, we've got an impact day for the threat of severe thunderstorms, especially across northwest Alabama. An enhanced risk of severe weather there. Uh, now, that does include places like Muscle Shoals, Florence, Athens, uh, into the northwest part of Madison County around Harvest. Now, technically, those are the spots that are in the risk area. But what about the secondary area here, level two, the scattered thunderstorms? This is where they're most numerous. This is where they're still going to be pretty numerous. Coleman County through Morgan, Madison, Limestone, Jackson, Marshall, DeKalb. Some strong thunderstorms just like we saw on Sunday and Monday. And then they move to the south across the Birmingham metro area, and they're not quite as numerous. So that's the difference between the orange, the yellow, and the green. Orange is where, yeah, you can bet there's going to be a pretty healthy thunderstorm close by that may have 60 mile per hour wind gusts, heavy rain, lots of lightning with it, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., generally within that risk area. After 5 o'clock and up until about 10 p.m., thunderstorms are going to linger here around the middle of the state. From Cullman to Aniana, Albertville, Boaz, Gunnersville, Fort Payne, Collinsville, Crossville, Gadsden, Atala, up to center in Cedar Bluff, Anniston, Jacksonville, Pell City, you name it, Birmingham, Trustville, Hoover, Chelsea, Alabaster, 5 to 10 p.m. Tuscaloosa County, it's, it's going to be a little bit interesting over West Alabama. A lot of our forecast model guidance really cuts this zone out. So not expecting a lot of thunderstorm activity over here. So a lot of this may be completely dry over West Alabama, but over Northeast Alabama, it is going to be a different story. Storms will be much more isolated after eight o'clock in the evening over the eastern part of the state. So yet again, here's where I think the greatest risk of severe thunderstorms will be on Wednesday between 1 p.m. and 10 p.m. in the red shaded zone there. So the Shoals, Huntsville, Decatur, Athens, Cullman, Gadsden, Aniana, Asheville, Gardendale, Warrior, Trafford, Trussville, Clay, Jasper, Fayette, Hamilton, Winfield, Haleyville, Double Springs, Addison, Moulton, Franklin County around Russellville too. Some really, really intense thunderstorms are possible. Thursday, we have yet another risk of a few severe thunderstorms, and some of those could be pretty active with 60 mile per hour wind gusts, incredible lightning, flash flooding. In some cases, the lightning within these storms on both Wednesday and Thursday could exceed 15 or 20 strikes per minute. That would add you up to around 1,000 plus strikes per hour in a single spot. So these are electric. They are powerful. They've already done a tremendous amount of damage around the southeast the last couple of days, and here we go again. So what happens early tomorrow morning? I'll know if somebody complains about the fact that they canceled their day over the chance of storms that they did not listen to anything I said. Because I'm telling you right now, it's not going to rain in the morning. If it does, it'll be just a little light shower. So you got outdoor work to do? Do it early because the storms are going to start rolling up close by around lunchtime in northwest Alabama. But look at this. In Birmingham, at 11 a.m., the nearest storm forecast to Birmingham is over 200 miles away. Now, in Huntsville, it's a little bit different. Uh, they're about 150 miles away from, Flor from Huntsville at that point and uh, closer to about 100 miles away from Florence. So through midday. I don't think it rains on Wednesday. The impact weather kicks in after 1 p.m. And at that point, look at this, it is still way northwest of Birmingham and pretty far northwest of Huntsville too, by close to one to 200 miles. Then huh, here we go. We start getting the scattered storms blossoming in the early afternoon. Some of these are going to be pretty intense over southern middle Tennessee. So look at that line from about Nashville to Florence. I think that it's reasonable to expect it might be in that area. Yes, it's possible, but there's also a pretty good chance that out here where you've got this one storm in the uh, Molten area, 
that there are quite a few more right in there. So kind of linked up like that. Uh, so there's some distance there and forecast modeling has been doing a terrible job of timing these things out the last few days. So that's a 55 to 60 mile difference in where I think they should be versus where the model says they are. We'll see how it works out. On through the afternoon and evening, 7 p.m., those storms have moved through Huntsville by that point. Uh, in fact, let me roll back here and we'll just kind of pause it right there and move the map so that you can watch them uh, kind of drift across North Alabama too. So there they go between 3 and 7 p.m. They're lined up here around Gadsden and uh, Anniston, Pell City, down to Birmingham. So remember what I said about Tuscaloosa County, Bibb County, Chilton County, big chunk of Shelby County, and even part of Jefferson County, it may not rain before 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. So you send me a nasty email about that, I'm going to know you didn't listen to what we talked about here. How much rain are we expecting overall? Well, the uh, GFS forecast modeling, which has been doing decent, I think if, if anything, it has probably done the best out of all of them with respect to the positioning and intensity of storms. You see this hot zone right here? between now and next Tuesday over North Alabama, that correlates to about three to five inches of rain. Even in Jefferson County and Tuscaloosa County and then down toward Tallapoosa County and Auburn uh, into um, Anniston and Gadsden, there's still a good chance you get some heavy rain, but then there's gonna be this zone right in the middle of the state where it just doesn't rain quite as much. So we'll just play it by ear here. These uh, forecast models are not gonna be perfect, but they have done a pretty good job of telling us the general idea of where things should be and i think tomorrow and thursday are clear-cut impact days because of the threat of severe weather across alabama thursday friday into saturday sunday that trends downward away from a lot of severe weather into more of your typical summertime thunderstorms that we would normally get in the month of august